Dame i gospodo, dobrodošli u Dom Narodne skupštine na otvaranje izložbe pomoća u Strilijanki Srbiji tokom Prvog svetskog rata. Izložbi u čast hrabrih doktorki medicinskih sestara koje su pružile nesebičnu pomoć srpskim civilima i vojnicima tokom Prvog svetskog rata. O detaljima izložbe, ambasadorka Australije i njena ekselencija, gospođa Đulija Fini. Izvolite. Dobro jutro. Madam Speaker, members of Parliament, Ministry officials, Your Excellencies, invited guests. During the First World War, dozens of courageous Australian women, doctors, nurses and support personnel joined others, predominantly British and Canadian volunteers, to provide vital humanitarian assistance to the Kingdom of Serbia. Poštovana predsjednice, poštovani poslanici, predstavnici vlade, uvaženi gosti. Tokom Prvog svetskog rata na desetine hrabrih australijanki, lekara, sestara, medicinskog osoblja pridružilo se kanadskim i britanskim dobrovoljcima u pružanju neophodne humanitarne pomeći Kraljevini Srbije. To mark International Women's Day and to promote the empowerment of women and girls, the Australian Embassy is very pleased to bring some of their wonderful stories which have largely been forgotten back to life. Kako bi oživjela međunarodni, obeležila Međunarodni dan žena i promovisala osnaživanje žena i devojaka, ambasada Australije sa zadovoljstvom ima čast da oživi pojedine njihove priče koje su uglavnom do sada bile zaboravljene. These pioneering women, fearless women, undeterred by the vast distance from their homes in Australia, volunteered to serve on the Serbian front to provide sorely needed medical relief to Serbian soldiers and civilians. Te odlučne i neustrašive žene, nepokolebljive, iako daleko od svojih domova u Australiji, dobrovoljno su se prijavile da služe na Srpskom frontu i pruže preko potrebnu medicinsku pomoć srpskim vojnicima i civilima. This exhibition serves to remind contemporary Serbian society about the valiant and selfless efforts of these incredible women. When looking back at the Great War, it is these positive stories, stories of courage, stories of humanity, that need to be highlighted. Ova izložba ima za cilj da podseti savremeno društvo u Srbiji na hrabre, požrtvovane, nesebične napore ovih neverovatnih australijanki. Kada se osvrnemo na veliki rat, upravo su ove pozitivne priče, priče o hrabrosti, priče o humanosti, ono što je vredno pomena i podsećanja. And finally, Madam Speaker, I would just like to thank you for your personal interest in this exhibition. Thank you. Na kraju, poštovana predsjednice, želim da se zahvalim na ličnom angažovanju organizaciji ove izložbe. Obratit će nam se i predsjednice Narodne skupštine, gospođe Maja Gojković. Vaša ekscelencijo, poštovane ekscelencije, uvoženi narodni poslanici, dama i gospodo. Distinguished excellencies, honorable members of parliament, ladies and gentlemen. Imam čast da u Narodnoj skupštini otvorim izložbu fotografija pomoć Australijanki Srbiji tokom Prvog svetskog rata, koja svedoči o hrabrim ženama koje su nesebično pomagale srpskom narodu u jednom od najtežih perioda u našoj istoriji. It gives me great honor to open the exhibition of photographs here in the National Assembly, the forgotten service of Australian women in Serbia during the First World War. It testifies to the courage of women who selflessly provided assistance to Serbian people during one of the most difficult periods of our history. On postavkom od 22 fotografije nastavljamo saradnju sa ambasadama Australije sa ciljem da osvetlimo zajednički deo naše istorije. Today with the exhibition of 22 photographs we are continuing our cooperation with the Embassy of Australia with the aim of bringing back to life the events from our shared past. Želim da isteknem da obeležavanje stogodišnjice Velikog rata, koje je započelo prošle godine, nikako ne bi smelo da protekle bez podsjećanja na značinu ulogu koju su njemu imale žene. Veliki teret tog rata i stradanja na svojim plećima ponele su upravo one. Njihova uloga je ogromna. Bilo da su se rame uz rame sa srpskim vojnicima borile protiv neprijatelja, poput heroine Milonke Savić, ili pomoć pružile ranjenicima na frontu, kao što su to činile australijske bolničarke u sanitetskim jedinicama. We all know that the commemoration of centenary of the Great War, which started last year, should not pass without paying due tribute to women and the important role they played during the war. 
It was women who carried bravely on their shoulders the great burden of the war and who endured heroic suffering. The role they played is enormous, be it as soldiers when they fought the enemies shoulder to shoulder with the Serbian soldiers, or as our great heroine Milunka Savic, or by providing medical care on the front lines as Australian nurses in medical units did. Uvaženi gosti, napomenula bih da nije slučajno da se tih odvažnih žena, lekarki, medicinskih sestara, žena, vozača, koje su prelazile hiljade milja da bi pomogle srpskoj vojsci, sećamo baš u oči Međunarodnog dana žena. I danas se ovaj dan obeležava kako bi se ukazala na ekonomska, politička i društvena dostignuća žena u njihovoj borbi za ravnopravnost. Agnes Bennett, Stella Miles Franklin, Olive King, Mary de Garis samo su neke od onih koje su prednjačile po hrabrosti i posvećenosti idejama ravnopravnosti u vremenu u kome su živele. Esteemed guests, it is not by chance that today, on the eve of International Women's Day, we remember these courageous women, doctors, nurses and support personnel that have traveled thousands of miles to provide badly needed relief to the Serbian army. We commemorate this day to draw attention to the economic, political and social achievements of women in their fight for equality. Agnes Bennett, Stella Miles Franklin, Olive King, Mary de Garris, were some of the pioneers ahead of their time who paved the way for others with their courage and dedication to the ideas of equality. Primer ovih hrabrih australijanki svedoči danas o nepresušnoj vrednosti ideala ljudskosti, slobode, pravde i požrtvovanosti. The lives of these courageous Australian women are the proof of the immense and lasting value of the ideals of humanity, freedom, justice and self-sacrificing devotion. Dame i gospodo, upravo ova izložba kroz fotografije koje prekazuju njihov život na Solonskom frontu i dane u Škotskoj ženskoj bolnici koje su pripadale svedoče o njihovoj jakoj volji i zadiljujućoj snazi. Saosećajući sa patnjom srpskog naroda, pomagale su ranjenicima na frontu i to tamo gde je bilo najteže. Dokaz za to su i reči dr. Agnes Bennett koja je vodila sanitetsku bolnicu i koja je zapisala. Bili smo na pravom mestu i u pravom vreme. Bitka za Gorničevo i Oluja sa Kajmakčalana upravo je započela. Ladies and gentlemen, this very exhibition with the photographs that capture their lives in Salonika front and days spent in Scottish Women's Hospital illustrate the strength of their will, their kindness and courage. They felt deep sympathy for the sufferings of the Serbian people and they helped the wounded on the front lines in the most difficult times. The words of Dr. Agnes Bennett, who was in charge of the field hospital, prove it. She wrote, we were on the right place at the right time. The battle of Gornicevo and the blaze on Kajmak Chalan have just started. Koliko je situacija u kojoj su pokušavale da pomognu ranjenicima bila teška, najbolje govori to što su upravo ranjenici tešili medicinske sestre pogođene njihovim patnjama. O tome svedoči Stella Miles. Franklin, bolničarka i australijska književnica, koja upravo, po rečenici ne mari ništa sestro, koja je postala prepoznatljiva u tom vremenu, nazvala svoj roman. How difficult the situation in which they were helping the wounded truly was is best illustrated with the fact that it was the wounded soldiers who were comforting the nurses in despair with the words, ne mari ništa sestra, it doesn't matter, nurse. Stella Miles Franklin, an orderly in the medical unit and one of the most recognized Australian writers of all time, used this sentence as the title of her novel. Završetek bitke za Kajmakčalan i proboj Solotskog fronta predstavljao je kraj rata ali to nije bio kraj ratnog putovanja ovih australijskih bolničevki. Srbija se suočila sa strašnim posledicama razaranja. Iza rata ostali su pustoš, rasulo i haos. Ljudi su umirali od nedostatka medicinske nege, glade i bolesti, epidemija, a one ni tada nisu želele da ostave Srbiju. Mnoge pripadnice Škotske ženske bolnice nastavili su humani i volonterski rad, poput Olive King, koja je osnivajući narodnu kuhinju, pomogla mnogim izbeglim porodicama koje su ostale bez domova. The end of the battle of Kajmak Chalan and the Salonika front breakthrough marked the end of the war. However, it was not the end of the war journey for these Australian nurses. Serbia faced with horrid destruction and devastation. 
After the war was over, only wasteland, havoc, and chaos could be seen. People died of lack of medical care, hunger, disease, epidemics. And despite all these things, these women stayed. They did not want to leave Serbia. Many members of the Scottish Women's Hospital continued to provide humanitarian relief with their voluntary work. Olive King established a string of Australian Serbian continues to help displaced Serbian families who had lost their homes. In the end, I would like to say that their significant work was valued and recognized. Some of the most important efforts after the war of the war. And on us, in today's generation, we remember those works and those friends for the next 100 years. I invite you to look at this valuable exhibition today. Thank you very much. In the end, I would like to mention that their valiant deeds were recognized and awarded with most notable orders and medals of the then Serbia. And now we, the generations of today, have to remember and cherish those courageous deeds and the friendships they had forged for the next hundred years. I now invite you all to look at the exhibition.